And for the first time in a dozen years, the chair of the King County Council is a woman. Yes, Claudia <laughs> Balducci, the former mayor of Bellevue, and you're here in studio. Welcome. Good Gra morning. Great to have you here. You got your morning coffee and I ready did. to go. Yeah, no, I'm glad, I'm glad you let me have this on set. You <laughs> gotta have the coffee. Good morning. Good. We're glad you got here. Was it bad with the snow getting from where you are? On the you know, east today side? was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, the last couple of days were dicey, and uh, and further out east, as you were saying, it's not so good. I personally will be really excited to have light rail open in Bellevue, and then I won't have to worry about driving in the snow <laughs> yeah. anymore. Good segue. <laughs> Because <laughs> that's certainly one of the big issues that people are talking about on the east side, transit for sure. Oh yeah, well, um, go ahead. Yeah, no, I mean, what what do you find is the biggest thing that people are pushing back against? Because everyone, you know, the idea of, you know, uh, trains that run on time and it's cheaper and easier, everyone right. seems to like that. What do people push back on though? Well, they really talk to me about needing to get to the buses and get to the trains. Right. Can I have parking so I can get my car somewhere? And I want to ride transit, but I can't get to it. So we're, we're going to have to work really hard at making those connections, building out the transit system so people can get a shuttle or a bus. We have some really interesting things going on here in Seattle where you can just use your phone, call up a van, it'll take you to the light rail station. Mm -hmm. And I think that will help a lot of people who want to use transit get to use our system Increased better. jobs, too, for yeah, it those does. drivers are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, um, I see you talking on social media a lot about homelessness and housing. Right. And I know that those are two separate issues, but in some ways they can kind of relate. But uh, yeah. let's talk about affordable housing sure. because that's a big item for you. Yeah, they're absolutely related. And uh, we've just learned the details of, uh, of what's going on with the housing market. Everyone knows rent is high, it's sure. hard to afford a home. But over 100,000 families in King County are what we call cost burden, which means they're just paying too much of their income to just keep a roof overhead. What's the percentage, do you know? Uh, it, it's the percentage oh. of households. Oh, no, I meant like what percent are people spending on housing? We've asked people like socially, yeah. and some people will say 50% of my oh. income goes to housing. Yeah. The co cost burden people are paying 30% or more, and we have a lot of severely cost burden people who are paying more than half their income. Yeah, yeah it's supposed to be up to a, a quarter to mm -hmm. a third, I think. Yeah. Right? That's yeah. The, yeah. And what that means is that, you know, if the car breaks down, if you miss a paycheck, if you, you know, if your rent goes up, then suddenly that's a family that could be losing their their housing. And so we really are working hard to try to create more affordable housing and to keep housing that exists and affordable. We have a really audac audacious regional goal to create 44,000 new housing units countywide in the next five years. You know, one of the things that that is, I think it's a very tough position to be in, in a position of power like yours, is even people who want the same solution radically differ on how to get it. And yeah. there's a lot of the NIMBY, not in my backyard. Yeah. Like, yeah, we need a place to put people who are struggling with homelessness, but not up the road from me. How do you deal with that? So only slightly facetiously, uh, it's a big enough problem that we need to do everything. We need to build more housing and we need to deal with the way we create it so that neighbors understand. One really good solution, put it near the transit. We're mm -hmm. building these light rail stations, put the density around the transit stations, around bus hubs, and then that helps people with two problems. Mm -hmm. They can have a place they can afford and they can get to work and school and everywhere they need to be and we know that's a solution for success. Also, those stations tend to be in denser areas where people are more used to having sort of multifamily housing. So it works pretty well. That's one key solution. But we need to do a lot of different things yeah. to fill the gap we have. Well, I was going to mention a few of them because I was looking at one of your Twitter threads. <laughs> um, you know, someone said housing the trust fund, reform impact fees, yeah. reduce regulatory barriers. Don't want to get too much into the weeds there. But uh, you also mentioned that we live in a regressive tax system. That's exactly so right. So does that mean that you would say, okay, we got to do something with our taxes? We do. Yeah. I mean, we have the most regressive tax system in the country. We're the bottom of all the states. And so at some point, we have to talk about how our tax system burdens the people who can least afford it. The people who can least afford housing, least afford transportation, are paying the most of their income in taxes. I know, but that's, that's not so fair. unpopular. You know, it's it's such unpopular, unpopular, but it's something that we have to do if we think we're going to be a fair region. And we, we, we want to be fair. All right, we got 30 seconds left. We want to ask kind of a fun question. Okay. Best breakfast, you can, like, what's your, what's your go-to okay. breakfast? Fruity Pebbles, eggs and toast? Oh, gosh. Let, let us know who you are. Uh, well, the one I eat the most the often really is, uh, is, is probably a piece of chicken sausage. It's so boring. What? I eat Ooh, chicken I sausage like and, and fruit. Like, I have this sort of low-carb thing going on. Uh, but when I go out, I like biscuits and gravy. So uh, who, doesn't? Ooh, who doesn't love biscuits and gravy? I will say, uh, you have, what, one meeting under your belt? Two oh, now. Two we now. we, uh, okay. we have a special meeting to appoint a new legislator, uh, and then yesterday we had our first meeting of the year, a regular meeting. How did it feel? Uh, fine. <laughs> just normal. <laughs> just, 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 just a different seat. I got a little wooden hammer. hammer. Okay. Yeah, it all works out fine. Thank you. Yeah. Well, Claudia, yeah. thanks so much for coming yeah, it's by great and to joining see you. us. We love meeting you, and we hope to have you right. back again soon. Yes, Thank you. Please come back. I will.